Hello everyone and welcome to this edition of unboxing the Note 8 European version. And this is very important to find out. In this unboxing session, I will be talking about how it is for you to be buying a Note 8 from the European region. And I'll talk to you about unlocking SIM cards. And I will also talk to you about how important it is uh, for you to get the um, whatever Samsung Galaxy device you're getting from the same region that you live mostly in. So let's start by uh, unboxing and cutting this box with my beautiful Pukko knife, which is a traditional Finnish knife that's used for a lot of various things. So the first thing that you're gonna see that the box is gonna say European SIM card only. Don't get too scared of this. Get a little bit scared, don't get too scared. Uh, it doesn't mean that you can't use it anywhere else but Europe. It does mean that you can actually travel around with it, but I'll tell you what it means as soon as we start opening this uh, box without having to damage it too much because this knife is quite sharp. Right over here, actually. That would be the best. And that's all it takes. It's Finnish steel. I love this book. Perhaps I'll do a, a little video about it at some other time, but it's time for the Note 8 today. So, um, let's see. I've never, I have never um, opened up a Note 8 before. I, I always get the Note since Note 1, but I've never done a uh, unboxing for a Note 8, so I'm gonna be surprised, especially for a European version. I usually get it from other regions, like the States and, and Japan. So it's got a, the same exact, I was a little surprised that it, they're using the same exact theme they used for the Note 7. I guess they missed the Note 7 that much or they wanna revive it. Um, yeah, normally they come up with a different kind of theme, like uh, the Note 5, I believe, had the wooden version, the wooden theme, and this one has the same exact theme as the Note 7, uh, black box with a neon blue type of um, boxing here. Um, okay, so I got the, over here in Europe, you can only get the maple gold uh, or the midnight black. Of course, I'm kind of tired of these flashy colors and I decided to go with the midnight black since it's the basic most basic I heard that the blue is nice actually I've seen it on video and I and I, and I love the way it looks the blue note 8 but I'm not sure if um, it's going to be released here I think it's only in Korea and China again those are the special markets for them so the first thing you have to do is make sure to read me read the European sim uh, situation uh, like I said it is um, very important that you start using this device before you go uh, traveling out of Europe. And um, I spoke a little about how it is important for you to buy, buy it from the region that you're based in because when I got the fiasco with the Note 7, I traveled with it and I was, I was basically here in Europe and I bought it from a different region. And no matter what I did, um, at the beginning it started not working. It wasn't like exploding yet, but it just mine just stopped working. Uh, it didn't charge, the battery just basically died. And I didn't know what was wrong with it. And no one would take it from Samsung Europe. They would just not, they would not even like consider taking it. I would have to basically send it by mail to the region I had to, uh, I had bought it from. And it was like, Really complicated to do that because most service centers in Samsung will not receive your um, uh, device by mail. You would have to have a person there. So it's like a drama galore if you are buying this uh, device from a place that you're not based in. Um, now that I'm based in Europe, I would definitely only buy a Samsung unit like from, from here so that anything that happens to it, you would be able to return it with ease here. Um, the downside is that it's actually the most expensive, it's the highest price in all regions, 1,029 euros to be exact. In America, it's a lot less than that because it's actually less than um, 
it's only a thousand dollars, which is a lot less than a thousand euros, and so on. Even China and Korea, it's actually cheaper. It's the most expensive here. Uh, and this is the Note 8 in black. I'm not gonna start using it just now. I just want to open it up because like I've never I usually use all other versions So this is going to be new to me to see the ch how the charger looks like so I'm pretty excited Okay, so the um, Catalog and the information literature is here and Oh my god, this is so different. <laughs> I'm used to like the bulky UK ones and These European and Japanese ones are so different. Um, uh, it almost feels like it's not a charger charger. Maybe I should... Let me bring my UK one and just have a little um, comparison. So this is my UK charger that came with the Note 5. And um, I would say it's still bigger. I'm glad I'm taking something that would work as fast or the same capabilities of this guy with this size I'm, I'm quite happy and this is the pain i have to go through to use it here in um other regions of europe when you're using the uk version you have to use this big bulky thing and it makes it even bigger um so yeah that's the charger it comes with the because this is a newly they started um using the usb c type after galaxy note 5 and um Galaxy uh, S6, I believe they started with the 7 version. So now they're giving you a an adapter in case you have the chargers for micro USB. Uh, so now you can use the same charger and same charging cable with this little guy. And same thing goes for this. Of course, this will just transfer your um, USB-C into any kind of like traditional USB cord. And over here, we've got the AKG tuned. This is actually a Samsung, legitimately Samsung earphone. It's been tuned by AKG. And AKG is a, a company from uh, Austria that makes speakers and stuff like that. And that's the cable. It comes in black. It used to be, I remember when it was um, the Note 5 and the S6 it was always white. Now it's black. Uh, even if you get other colors, it's always black. This is for the, um, these are spare and the way it slides, the pen, if you change these from gray to white or from gray to black, it differs. One would slide a little differently than the other and I think they're doing that so that you can use a screen protector and depending on your screen protector if it's like rubbery then you use one and if it's glassy then you use another one this is what you use to take it out and these are the different earbuds that you can use for different sizes and I think that's about it so the whole idea of this video is just to remind you I mean I'm sure I'm sure you've seen a lot of unboxing for this already but just just to remind you that when you're buying a regional Samsung and you see this sticker because I was like really skeptical I mean this is a dual sim what's the point of getting a dual sim when it only works in one country but I was reassured and now I'm pretty sure that you can use this European sim card only phone in other regions if you have a sim card from Europe and you use it for five minutes and um, and basically even Let's say you're a tourist and you find it here for a better price or you find it in another region for a better price. Don't ever get it. It's not worth it. Uh, what I did is I went to a region that was selling the Note 7 um, very, very early, earlier than other regions. So what I did is I bought it for, um, I bought it from that region because it came out early and then I was surprised by the drama of having to return the Note 7. I had to return it to actually, I had to send it to someone I know from that region and that person got my refund. So I just want to remind everyone that don't ever get it if you're a tourist visiting a region or if you're just there temporarily. Uh, only get these Note devices and Galaxy devices if you are based in that country 
where you can uh, basically find it easier to return it in case something happens. I'm pretty sure this is not going to give me the same drama that the Note 7 did, but <sighs> peace of mind, you know? Well, that's about it. Thank you so much for joining me, and I'll see you perhaps with another unboxing video in the future.